Righto, g'day, welcome back to another episode. Check this place out. Yeah. We've got the tinny, we're at Penny, and look at that ocean, it is crystal clear, beautiful day. Got the little grommets. We're beach launching, we're going chasing a few tuskies. We're getting out into the big blue. To go see some dolphins. Let's get into it. You know how sometimes you just have them little brain blinks? I forgot to throw the anchor out. Uh-oh. Where are we? At the penny father. We're at the penny father. What do we got to do? Don't forget to let your tyres down. Don't forget to let your bloody tyres down. Righto. Let's get the boat trailer tyres down, then we'll do the ute. And there's a sneaky little... Got a surprise for you. Wait till we let the tyres down and show you what we've got to get through to get to the beach today. My pressures today are a little bit more critical than... Um, most other days we come out here, so I've got the actual gauge today. I'm sending the ute tires down to about 16. I've gone to sort of 15, 14 in the boat trailer, just because the boat trailer is gonna be a little bit heavier and it sits outside the tire track. So, cause it's the first time we're launching uh, on the beach, just sort of playing around with it. I have got room to go lower in the ute. We've got no turbo in this poor old girl, so we have to be a little bit strategic with our uh, tire pressure. We don't have, um, we don't have that up and go to be able to pull the boat out. So we've got to make sure we stay up on top and go real nice and steady. I've got the max tracks in there as well. We'll give you a look at how we beach launch, but let's get these things let down and then get through that little thing over there. Righty, the tires are down and we're taking on the swamp. Anyone that's been to Penny Father would know that this is where you generally pull up and let your tyres down, right before the sand dune, but at the moment... Lapping the floor, I can feel it. Oh, it's coming in. It's coming in. We're filling up. We're filling with water. Got a foot well full of water. Holy! Oh, oh, we're proper full now. <laughs> oh, we're full of water, Bobby! <laughs> That was pretty deep. That was pretty deep. Look at that. <laughs> what about on your side? You still got water in there? Yep. Bit of water in the doors. Oh well. Let's go launch the boat on the beach. How you going up there, bub? Good. You good? So not many people have actually seen water in that swamp there. It's just been such a massive wet season this year. Um, even some of the locals that have been around for quite a few years are saying that, that they've never seen that in, in 10 years of being here. So 
that's um that's pretty cool to see pretty cool to say that we've been um been out here and seen those swamps full here in here in weeper there was upwards of 2.3 to 2.5 meters of rain in isolated spots so that's a massive amount of rain for the wet season i cannot wait to get out and check out the beach but get this boat on the water Big tusky. So there's still no driving on the beach at Penny. It is all signposted and stuff. We're just coming out for a quick look at the front um, just to check out what it looks like. Then we're gonna send it back through the dunes and we're gonna head up towards the rocks. I'm gonna launch up there um, and we're gonna fish out around the back of the rocks today. It's a funny tide today. We don't have a low tide. It's just gonna be a high tide all day. So there's gonna be no run, um, which is gonna be a little bit difficult to fish. Gonna have to change it up. And I did forget to bring the bait again. So we've got to go and try and find some bait. Um, I'm probably gonna to have to change up how I was gonna fish. I was planning to fish for tuskies and was gonna use the prawns that I had put out, out outside, but because I forgot them, we're probably gonna to have to try and get some mullet. We might get a few goldies or something on mullet, but we might have to use some lures, soft plastics. I've got a couple little crab lures there that I'm gonna try out as well for the tuskies. A pepper and soap. Let's get into it and have a look around. First beach launch. So we're gonna show you how we go about dropping it in. The sand's pretty hot, pretty hard at the moment. I've got a big high tide, so I'm up in the soft stuff. Rule number one, see your motor at the back? Trim it up. Nine times out of 10 when you're beach launching, it's gonna be shallow as shit and your motor's gonna dig in. So make sure it's trimmed up. If you have any sounders on the back, try and um, like transducers, try and flip them up two ways you can do it you can go nice and steady and push the boat off or you can just gun it hit the brakes and let it slide up to you depending on how deep the water is and how experienced you are i don't have anyone for the boat so i'm going to go nice and steady push it off and pull it in xander's going to film <laughs> Remember to keep your boat tied on, otherwise it tries to float away. Seagrass? I heart stuff on my Bobby, your body. Whoa, that's a good one, Bobby. Whoa, Bobby. I think I got you in the snake. Oh, I got off. You gotta watch it, it get you biting. I lost one. It's okay, we'll get another one. You got the first fish in a boat. Yeah. Oh, a little tusky. Little tusky. Oh, see his teeth? Whoa. Good work, Bobby, on your little pink rod. This cold trout. That's not a cold trout, that's a tusky. That's tusky. Yummy. Yummy. Having tusky tacos for dinner. Yeah. 
Yeah. High five. Good girl. Danny's gonna catch one now, aren't you, Bob? Don't lift him in. Are you lifting him? Lift him then. Lift him. Lift him in all the way. Good work. All by yourself. <laughs> Even lifted it in. Good work, Bob. High five. Good girl, Bob. That's a nice fish. Good work. Let's get another one, hey? Oh, it's big. Wow, what is that? Oh, big cod. Big cod. He's not exactly the, the species I was chasing, but beautiful big black spot cod, little rock cod. It's massive. Good yeah, size, probably it. about four kilo maybe. Maybe a little bit better. We're gonna let this one go. Yeah. There he goes. Dirty old cod. That's going to be a problem. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know how sometimes you just have them little brain blinks and you forget to do something? I forgot to throw the anchor out. Uh-oh. Spaghetti. That's our boat floating away over there. So we bailed out and we're getting a little bit of bait. And I was too worried about getting bait and getting back to the boat as quick as I could. Forgot to throw the anchor out because I just packed it all back up and stashed it in the front. <laughs> and now the boat's floating away. There's no other boats parked in the river at the moment. There is another camp here, but they don't even have their boat in the water. There's no way in the world I'm swimming for that. The amount of sharks that I've seen here, not to mention the crocodile that lives right there, the 13 that live on the other side. Oh no. How are we gonna get that back? Are you gonna swim and get the boat? I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it either. <laughs> oh bugger. That's a big bugger moment. There's no tide at all, so there's no chance of it getting washed out or washed in. It's just the wind that's blowing at the moment. You can see it's sort of just slowly drifting with the wind across to the other side. Wait, did your phone in there? Yeah, the phone's in there. The keys to the car are in there. All the GoPros but the one I had on my head are in there. Oh, no. All the rods are in there. Uh-oh. Thank you to these lovely people. We have the tinny back, thanks to that boat. We are safe. Now remember to put the anchor.
big sting right there, Bobby. I'm gonna go jack her. Little Jack. Look at him. Yeah, we caught a mangrove jack for a while. Nice little mangrove jack. This fellow's a little bit small, we might let him go. We've been here for about two I'm, minutes. I'm I've got bloody rods and stuff everywhere that I've just tried to um, start to clean up. And this fella hit the line while it was just sitting there slack. So hopefully there's a couple more down there. We'll get into A couple it. more big ones. Yeah, some big ones. That inquisitive little crocodile just popped up right at the back of the boat and was just looking me dead in the eyes. Yeah. That was crazy. That like I, I could nearly touch that thing with the tip of my rod. He just popped up like you wouldn't have even known he was there. So there's a massive bait school sitting right on the tip of this snag. And we've we've just drifted from the top of that snag through to this one. And there's a heap of little uh, what look like dart and little queenies a smash and really small white bait so I'm using a tiny little tiny little reflective micro jig or a slug whatever you want to call it and as we were drifting that crocodile just popped up right at the back of the boat Hopefully the GoPro lets you see the massive big school just in here. So they're all little GTs, little queenies, but holding up real high up in under those shallows, right at the tip of my rod tip there, are barramundi. You can just see little, they're only little fellas, little rats, but there's a couple of bigger fellas holding out off the back of these. You can see their tails just poking out of the water. What do you think you have, Dad? No big shine. Big, big finger mark, is it? I think it's big mango jack. Is it? That's a big mango jack, Mark. Oh, Look at that. Really? Big jacket back. He's not exactly what I was targeting over there. I, I was targeting the barra that I can actually see on top of the water and he was holding underneath them, but that's a beautiful little mangrove jack. 
So all they're doing is just little liveys and I'm, let, I'm throwing them up into the shadows of the sticks and letting them um, float down with the tide and it's floating in under the snag where the barra is sitting. And this fella must have just been sitting under there and smoked it underneath. Beautiful little jack. This is how close we're sitting to them and I can literally see the mangrove jack sitting in under there. I'm hand feeding them like I'm throwing the line, letting it sit right under their nose until they get hungry enough to... Oh, he's snapping. Until they get hungry enough to take you into the bloody snack. Oh, are you videoing me now, Bobby? Are you? Little cod. He's the uh, he's the one that just took my bait two seconds ago because he's still got my hook in his mouth. How's that? Look at that, Xander. That's the fish that hooked me just before. See the hook in his mouth? That's my bait from two seconds ago. <laughs> what do you got there, Bobby? It's your cod. It's my cod. I just caught, is it? Yeah. Oh, little baby cod. You gonna let him go? Yeah. Okay, let's let him go over the side. Bye, Cod. Bye, Cod. Good, good fish, Bob. Fight him out. Fight him out of the snags. Good fish, Bob. Oh, it's red. It's red. Yeah, it's a mango jack, Bob. Oh, oh, good one. Whoa. Whoa, what are you doing with him? Good work, Bob. Good job. Good job. Good job, Xander. Nice mangrove jack. Hi, he has big eyes. Big eyes. All the better to see you with. <laughs> good job, Dolan. Good job, Bob. <laughs> Another good one. Look at his teeth. Big sharp teeth. Are you gonna catch another one? Yeah, okay, let's go then. Well, today has been a bloody adventure, I tell ya. The fishing's been a little bit slow, the Savi. Xander got a mangrove jack, I got a jack and a uh, and a little cod, but that's about it. We've been fishing. We've fished a couple of different spots. We've fished some rocks. We've fished some snags. We've tried getting out of the current, in the current. It doesn't really change. There's lots of little fish moving. A lot of little GTs, little queenies. We're hooking plenty of those on the slugs, but not too many uh, bigger fish seem to be be feeding at the moment. They're not active. Like we can see them, like we did in the drone. Uh, we've seen those big schools of. Um, of all those little queenies and things but it's had those big barra hanging up high in the sticks but couldn't entice one unfortunately the sun is just starting to get down a little bit now it's about four o'clock we're going to start making our way back towards the ute but we might have a bit more of a fish we might throw the lures out and troll their main mouth try something a little bit different and then um not sure what we're going to do just yet what do you reckon we do Swim. Swim? With the crocodile that we just seen? No. No, I didn't think so. At home. Swim at home? No, nah, it'd be dark. Right, let's find something else interesting. What do you think have that? I don't know what it is, it's massive. Maybe a big cobia? I don't know. And your thumb is green. Yeah, that's how much it was it was spooling the drag that much. I was thumbing it, trying to pull it up before it hit the rocks. There's a big set of rocks that I just pulled this thing off of. And because I was trying to thumb it before it got into those rocks, I was just getting absolutely torn apart on my thumb. But I've got it out in open water now and I know there's no rocks. So I can go, I've backed the drag right off, taken my thumb off it. I'm just going to fight it through and see if I can't get it close to the boat. Have a look at what it is. It's got so much weight behind it. I don't even know what this could be. I bet it's a big cod. Big cod. No, I don't know. It hasn't jumped like a barra yet. 
Yeah. Holding low, holding real low to the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and drive forward because the current's the current's pushing us back into the rocks I pulled it off. What is it, Dylan? There it is. Oh, I just seen colour. I seen colour. Oh, he's on the water. There he is. What is it? Big, big Queenie. Big GT. Wait. Big GT. I thought it was Big Queenie. Oh, there's something behind it. Probably another GT. Big Golden from Valley. Little tea leaf trevally. Won't stop wiggling. <laughs> little tea leaf trevally. Little tea leaf trevally that won't stop wiggling, so I'm gonna get him straight back in the water where he belongs. Off he goes. That's it, easy as that. So all we do, back down, max tracks under, up and out. Pretty easy with the tinny. You know, good tire pressure, straight up and out again. A little bit different if you've got a big boat on. Definitely pick your bank. This one's probably a little bit steep for our big boat, but this boat's no dramas at all. What do we say? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for subscribe. Don't forget to buy our merch online. You get a nice. What do you reckon, Bubby? Round two? Let's attack this water for round two. Thank you. 